Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is magnetotactic bacteria. Let's start with superparamagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles, these are widely researched for their applications in medicine. These spherical particles are used in various biomedical fields, especially in therapy and diagnostics. Clinically, superparamagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles serve as contrast agents for MRI and for hyperthermia where they generate heat when exposed to a magnetic field. New designs of these nanoparticles are being developed for targeted drug delivery using an external magnetic field. Superparamagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles are considered safe for human use, with high biocompatibility and low toxicity, as confirmed by clinical trials. For example, a Phase II study showed their effectiveness in treating recurrent glioblastoma with a combination of thermotherapy and radiotherapy resulting in longer survival times compared to conventional therapies. This highlights the potential of nanomaterials to create innovative and effective medical treatments. Certain animal species naturally produce magnetic nanoparticles, aiding in navigation and orientation. These nanoparticles are hypothesized to work through complex receptors that sense variations in the Earth's magnetic field. Additionally, a protein called cryptochrome, specifically ERCRY4, found in migratory European robin's eyes, may act as a magnetosensor. When activated by light, this protein generates magnetically sensitive intermediates known as radical pairs, which are crucial for magnetic sensing. Recent studies suggest that both mechanisms magnetic nanoparticles and cryptochrome proteins may work together in some migratory animals to facilitate navigation. Understanding these natural processes not only sheds light on animal behavior but also informs the development of medical and technological applications involving magnetic nanoparticles. Over millions of years, evolution has produced a remarkable solution in the form of single-domain ferromagnetic nanoparticles ranging from 35 to 120 nanometers in size. These nanoparticles act like miniature permanent magnets, naturally organizing themselves into rigid chain-like structures called nanochains. Remarkably, nanochains form due to attractive magnetic interactions, without needing an external magnetic field. These ferromagnetic nanochains are incredibly sensitive to even the slightest magnetic fields, such as the Earth's geomagnetic field. This sensitivity allows them to exert mechanical forces on surrounding organisms, possibly aiding in mechano and or magneto reception. These unique structures are found in prokaryotic microorganisms, particularly magnetotactic bacteria, which were first described by Salvatore Bellini in 1963. Half a century ago, Blakemore reported on the biomineralization of iron in these bacteria. Through various techniques, including transmission electron microscopy, Scientists have confirmed the presence of ferromagnetic magnetite particles within specialized compartments called magnetosomes in these bacteria. Magnetosomes are biological vesicles containing ferromagnetic nanocrystals surrounded by a lipid bilayer membrane. These vesicles have a unique protein composition specific to their membrane, encoded by genes called MAM and MMS. The chains of ferromagnetic magnetosomes create their own local magnetic field and likely interact with neighboring magnetotactic bacteria through magnetic forces. Magnetosomes have several potential applications for targeted cancer therapy when isolated from the magnetotactic bacteria, including magnetic hyperthermia, localized medication delivery, gene therapy, and tumor monitoring. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another interesting topics. Stay tuned.